We all expected leaving the 2021 NFL Draft talking about Trevor Lawrence or Zach Wilson. Instead, we left talking about the future of Aaron Rodgers in Green Bay. There have been a lot of bizarre reports come out about Rodgers' situation, but it sounds like there are two main players that have caused a rift between Rodgers and the Packers, starting with the obvious, Jordan Love. Love is at the core of most of the Rodgers drama. The Packers blindsided Rodgers at the 2020 NFL Draft when instead of bringing in more weapons, specifically a wide receiver, Green Bay took the Utah State quarterback at number 26. That prompted Rodgers, at age 36, to go on to win MVP in 2020 after recording league highs with a 70.7 passing percentage and 48 passing touchdowns. I think it was wrong for the Packers to take love, but logistically it makes sense. Green Bay did the same thing in 2005, taking Rodgers at number 24 despite having Brett Favre. Now, the other player at the center of the Rodgers drama is one you've possibly never heard of before, Jake Kumaro. It sounds bizarre that a wideout with 21 career catches would be the head of the drama between a storied franchise franchise and a future Hall of Fame quarterback. But here we are. If you're enjoying the video, please help us to 100k by subscribing to the channel and hitting that bell notification so you never miss an upload. Rodgers wanted to be involved in personal decisions following the 2020 NFL Draft, and he made it clear that he wanted to keep Kumaro, calling him a fantastic, steady player. Despite that, the Packers decided to release him. Ian Rappaport called the situation the death knell in the relationship between Rodgers and the Packers. Now, let's be real here. Was it really Kumaro being cut that basically was the last straw for Rodgers and his relationship with the Packers? I highly, highly doubt it. I'd imagine it had a lot more to do with the Packers not letting them know that they were going to get rid of a wide receiver that he wanted literally months after going behind his back and taking a quarterback for the future. A lot of the Rodgers drama is built around front office issues, and for good reason. Rodgers reportedly had a very bad relationship with former head coach Mike McCarthy. That's that started the toxic relationship that didn't end until Matt LaFleur came to Green Bay. With McCarthy gone, most of Rodgers' issues are reportedly with general manager Brian Gutekunst. Possibly my favorite part of the drama and the funniest part of the drama is that Aaron Rodgers in group chats has apparently referred to Gutekunst as Jerry Krauts, the late Chicago Bulls general manager who, if you saw Last Dance, has been portrayed very, very negatively. I know a lot of people hate Jerry Krauts for what he did with Michael Jordan in the Bulls roster, but even Jerry Krauts never traded away Michael Jordan. That's something for Gutekunst to think about. And finally, I feel I feel like we have to talk about the very, very bizarre possibility that Aaron Rodgers would retire from the NFL to host Jeopardy full-time. After legendary host Alex Trebek passed away, Rodgers had the opportunity to be a stand-in host for two weeks and called it a surreal experience. Furthermore, he apparently would love to become the permanent host. Rodgers has loved Jeopardy for a long time, and it sounds like he has a shot to be the host, but that doesn't mean that he can't play football too. Plenty of players have other things going on consistently. Kansas City Chiefs offensive guard Laurent Duvernay-Tardif is a doctor, and Russell Wilson plays Major League Baseball spring ball. Rodgers can absolutely be the Jeopardy host if he really wants to. What are the chances Rodgers actually retires though? Who knows, but it wouldn't make the most sense in the world for a reigning MVP to suddenly hang him up. But if that's what he wants, then go for it. He is apparently engaged to that girl that was in Fault of Our Stars. Good to see that Olivia Munn didn't scare him away from actresses forever. I guess Danica Patrick really was that bad, huh? I'd say personally, I have a lot of bold takes with Aaron Rodgers. I've been against Aaron Rodgers for a while, and I'll admit it, he's not my favorite player in the world. I really don't 
don't like the guy. I really don't respect the guy that much, honestly, just with a lot of some of his personal dealings, things he said. And he's a guy that I think is a fantastic, fantastic football player. I just necessarily don't think he's a great guy. I think drama has followed him every single place he's going. And personally, I feel like if, I mean, he has a bad relationship with his family. He's had a lot of issues, spats with Mike McCarthy. We already heard about him having issues with LaFleur last year. Now he's spinning with the general manager who in Rogers defense is a horrible general manager. Very likely is the 32nd best general manager in the NFL, dead last. I think Jordan Love is going to be a very good player if everything breaks right. With that being said, I think trading away Aaron Rodgers is a disastrous decision. I think they have overall a good roster. Their defense is pretty good. I think they still have Aaron Jones at running back, obviously Devontae Adams. I really do think that's a good football team. And honestly, while I'm on that point, I think Aaron Rodgers constantly complaining about the roster management, coaching, and stuff like that is totally unwarranted. Totally unwarranted. Yes, I believe that the Packers should have taken at least one wide receiver in the first round during his tenure in Green Bay. But at the same time, dude's had a good defense. He's had good wide receivers, good tight ends. I think overall, he might have been put in the second best situation of any quarterback in the last two decades behind Tom Brady. And he only has one ring to show for it. As a Washington fan, would I be open to the decision of Rodgers coming to Washington? Of course. I think Washington is a quarterback away from being a really good team. And I totally welcome Aaron Rodgers. I think there's been a lot of wrongdoing on both sides of this whole spat. I think the Green Green Bay Packers, especially with their GM, have completely mismanaged Aaron Rodgers at times. But at the same time, I believe that Aaron Rodgers kind of complains a little too much and a lot of the time on situations that necessarily don't need to be talked about or situations that he has better off than most people to begin with. There's been a lot of drama this offseason with a handful of quarterbacks, but I think this might actually be the dumbest drama of it all. The Deshaun Watson thing, I don't know what's going to happen there. I don't know that he replays in Houston again. Again. But taking that same principle, I'd be personally shocked if Aaron Rodgers isn't suiting up for the Green Bay Packers in week one of 2021. One year ago, people were ready to count Aaron Rodgers out. Six months ago, he took back his title as the best quarterback in the NFL after dominating his way to MVP. One month ago, Rodgers was hosting Jeopardy. And now we don't even know if he's going to be in Green Bay this season. Honestly, at this point, who knows what the hell's gonna happen? Thanks for sticking to the end of the video. Again, please help us on our way to 100K by subscribing to the channel and hitting that bell notification so you never miss an upload. Once we hit 100K, we're gonna be giving away an NFL jersey of your choice. To enter, all you need to do is follow our brand new Instagram and tag us on your story if you subscribe to the channel with post notifications on.